What did you make of okay. that World Series? I mean, a lot of folks are talking about it having topped the year before. What's your take on it? Um, Jesus, I, I, th- I think it did. And that's hard for me to say after seeing a team uh, win its first championship in 108 years. But uh, the back and forth, uh, the games that were close and not so close, the slugging and the pitching, um, uh, the the bullpen usage, what do they have, 56 pitching changes uh, in that series. Um, you know, I, I find that the most ironic part of it is that here are the Dodgers who had the best uh, bullpen that I ever saw against the Cubs not in the postseason until uh, uh, they faced the Astros. And really the Astros uh, uh, had the untested bullpen, but they kind of figured it out, or A.J. Hinch figured it out by the end of uh, Game 7 uh, that he just used his starting pitching uh, to get through the game. So you had McCullers, a starting pitcher, Peacock, a starting pitcher, and Morton who finished up with four innings instead of using the bullpen. So that was pretty ingenious of uh, A.J. So I guess what you need to get through that uh – Dodger rotation and into the Dodger bullpen and make it look uh, far more pedestrian than it was, was to have a bunch of 20 year olds who I guess don't really know what they shouldn't know and just hit out of their shoes and just mash it up, which is basically what these young Astro hitters did from basically it uh, one through four in the lineup. That's for darn sure. Uh, They were terrific hitting the baseball, Ron. Uh, I, I just, uh, I, just like you did, I'm sure, I just marvel at, at the talent at such a young age that these uh, young players have. I think, uh, you know, w- when I played a thousand years ago, you know, I, I, we would play the best players in our city or town or hamlet or whatever. These young players now are playing on travel teams against the best people in the world. And by the time they get to 22, 23 years old, they're well able to. Uh, to play uh, in these kind of games. And I, and I think you're right. They just, uh, you know, they played with a carefree, um, sometimes careless uh, time, type of attitude. And uh, when the pressure's on, boy, that uh, that seems to go a long way. And, uh, um, you know, the thing about the Astros that I really enjoy is that, you know, we, we hear about the analytics. But, you know, they also went back in time to do some things that, that teams have always done, and that is acquire the great – uh, a gun at the end in Verlander. They acquired guys like Beltran, McCann, and Reddick, guys that would help in the, in the clubhouse with a lot of their young players. So, you know, it was the combination of the analytics, the acquisition of veterans, and, of course, uh, uh, that young core that uh, might be around for a while. For more Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.